Hey everybody, this is the President Michael back with an autograph mail day video. Been a long time, just a lot going on, I've been busy. Got some stuff to show you. It's kind of going to be not very well organized, but um, I do have a lot of stuff to show you. I don't know when the last time I actually sent a TTM out, so little things have been trickling in, and then got a few things in person, and I've uh, bought a few autographs, so let me just get into it. Um. Let me get into some autograph book purchases. Here is The Land Over by Dale Cathell. I bought this online. Only cost one dollar. And it's signed right there. Don't know how this person made any money on this because that included shipping. They had to have lost money. But that's what they sold it for, so I'm not complaining. A dollar's a dollar. That work. I hope everyone's doing okay. So I should have I should have organized these things better. This video is gonna be a long one, just to let you know. You can probably already tell. Here is Donna Hicken, the good fight. These were all probably a dollar or two. Pick these up in person at a store. This, I'm pretty sure, is not signed by him. It's only a dollar, so I thought, why not get it? I compared the autograph, and I'm basically about 100% sure it's not him. But this is World Champion by Mario Andretti. Just, it's signed in the way that an author would sign it. It's 4606 to Chris and Joy. I'm pretty sure that's not Mario Andretti. What do you think? I don't think so. But, thought it's only about a buck. Why not? This is Thunder on the Left, an insider's report on the hijacking of the Democrat Party by Gary Aldridge. Organize it better for you guys. Next time, A Whisper to My Heart by Pamela Huey Matthews. Um, let's do these first. These I picked up at, um, I think, the same place, different day. This is Graveyard Shift by Kelly Lange, or Lance. And I've been thinking with some of these books, if they're not signed by anyone famous, they're not really worth a lot, I may start cutting the autographs out of the book to put in a binder because, you know, I've cut down a lot on signed books. I haven't been just looking for them or picking them up. They take a lot of room. So I could put hundreds of signed pages by authors in one big binder compared to the space that hundreds of books will take. I'm going to have to go towards cutting them. It's just take too much room. But the more important ones, I'll still keep in book form, of course. Here is P. River Reflections. This was actually signed back in 1981. I think this was only a couple of bucks. Awesome. You don't see vintage signed books very often. Here's The Associate by John J. Osborne Jr. This one's actually a pretty good one. Let's see. This one is... This one didn't have a book plate. Uh, a Long Stone's Throw by Elfie McCourt. This one is Hanging Time by Leslie Glass. I actually had an autographed copy sticker on the front cover. See, I want 
with that sign. Okay, that is it for the signed books that I picked up at that place. I did find some signed records. This is God's Little Cover by Dean Mitchell. And it's signed right there. This is only a dollar. Pretty awesome. We find these. Um, toss that over there. Here is the word, your dreams are mine. It's signed by um, Marcia Schmidt, Jim... It's signed by different people that's involved with it. I don't think anyone famous. Jim Witchy Jr. and Pam... Um, Boo... Where is her name? Bushatelli. Pretty cool. And then Danny Davis and the Nashville Brass, latest and greatest. And let's see. Um, it is signed by Ron, let's see Ronnie Hughes. I think think that is Danny Davis. I think I have to look through these better. It's like Curtis something and Ron Humphrey. So, let's see if I can get a better list of the names. I think that's good, Danny Davis, but I'm not certain. I have to see. I'm not sure if it lists all of the band members. Sometimes they, well, a lot of times they have them on there, then sometimes it doesn't. Usually, if you're going to find sign, um, records. A lot of times, I don't find a lot of them. I only found one really good one. They're either going to be like gospel or country music, probably from the 70s. I just don't see very, anything older than that, really anything newer than that. I'm not saying they're not out there, I just haven't got, found them, but I don't look all the time. I, I don't get out looking for the stuff nearly as much as I used to. So, good ones are out there, I know that. That one is that's done. Got a few in person, some of my Disney books. A couple celebrities, a couple characters. I might as well show you the characters as long as I'm doing it. Oh, this is um, Stephen Michael. He is a artist at Disney. I, um, he makes really really cool looking paintings out of just using coffee, actual coffee. He uh, thickens it, and he paints with that. Very awesome. I actually have on my other channel, the President of Tourist, explain what he does. I also have him on a business card, too, which I'll show you in a bit. This is Nick and Rima. They're, they're um, singers. They're doing some entertainment at Disney Springs. I got their autograph. I do have their business card. It's not signed. They also have a YouTube channel. I'll show you their business card when I come across it. It's in all this stuff, but... There and that. Here's the other book. Oh, I met um, a Disney actor doing Star Lord, not the real one. I met him after a concert at a private meet and greet, which is me and him. Here is the Blueberry Grass Band. It is a Canadian band. It's performing at the Canadian Pavilion at Epcot at Disney. Cool. Here's a couple of the characters, Mickey Mouse and Goofy, I thought. As long as I'm getting a picture with him, might as well. So pretty cool. This is Joy and Sadness and then Minnie Mouse characters. This is Mark Angler and Friends. It's a Canadian band but that was performing at the Canadian Pavilion at Epcot. Well, I got to meet um, um, a couple fairly good YouTubers, um, very fairly famous, especially the one. Uh, I met, um, met them both before, and I actually got one of their autographs before, not the other one. But this is Am the Woo and World of Micah. Check out the channels. They both do great stuff, and they're both very nice. I got to interview them on my 
the Presidential Tourist Channel. And uh, Micah gave me a sticker, so I stuck it in the book. That was pretty cool. I have a picture taken with him. And I, oh, shoot, i got to find it. I may have to stop this video and then start it again. Oh, British Revolution, they're a band that um, performs at the UK Pavilion, Epcot. They've been doing it for years, but they changed band members over the years. Interestingly, most of the time, people who work at each of those individual pavilions at Epcot, they're usually from that country. Like, if you work at the UK Pavilion, you're pretty much going to be British. You're actually going to be from the UK. Or if you're at the German Pavilion, you're from Germany. You're German. I don't think any of these guys are actually British. They all sounded American to me when I interacted with them, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Let's see. Oh, I almost forgot about this book. I almost forgot that. I got one more book that I, um, a friend of mine traded to me. Oh, here, here it is, that picture I was telling you about. This is a picture I take with Adam. I think it was 2016, and I actually was surprised. I I was I ran into him at Epcot. I didn't know he was going to be there. The reason why I had these pictures was I've been carrying them with me ever since I got developed. Is I had a feeling if I'm ever going to run into him again, it's going to be at Disney, and I did. So luckily I had the pictures, and he signed them. So I ran into him this month, August. Today is the 30th of August, August 30th. And then. Pretty cool. And then I did a trade with a friend of mine called Chris, which I still owe him uh, the book. Uh, I probably won't get it to you, Chris, if you see this video till after um, the hurricane hits. Just to let you know. Okay, 12 minutes already in this video. We still got a lot more to do. But this is Oh My, There Goes the Internet by George Decay. Had to get this. I'm uh, a big Star Trek fan. I already had George's autograph, but I wanted another book. It, this isn't the book that I really wanted. I wanted the other one. Well, one of the other ones he did. But this is a good start. I would love to. I, I don't care which book, though. In the end, it really is. Any of the books signed by any of the Star Trek main people, I want it. So I'm happy I got this. Let's put it right there. That pile. Okay, I have a whole bunch of stuff. TTMs and things. Um, I got this stuff from a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber. Ooh, um, not going to say his, his name because I don't know if he wants to be identified. So I can't show you everything because if I show you the one thing definite, you'll know who he is. So, just in case he doesn't want me to tell who he is, I'm not, that's why I can't say. But if you see this, you know who you are. Thanks for sending me these. It's really nice to you. But he, but he knew I collected business cards of like celebrities and political people. He sent me some business cards and them signed. And then he sent, um, well, I'll show it to you when I get to it. But first, this is a this is an older card, too, from Michael C. Jones. He was a special agent with the Naval Intelligence Services, U.S. Navy Intelligence, which is awesome. This is a business card. United States Senator from New Mexico, Tom Udall. They did not have that one. Mac. Pat Quinn, Governor of Illinois. Awesome. These are two cars from Beverly Miller, Commission Vice Chair of the uh, from the Van the Commission Economic Development. Cool. Edith Green, she was a member of Congress from Oregon. Not actually signed by her, but she um, dedicated someone to Bonnie. Not sure why she didn't sign it, but still cool to have. That's an older one. Here's a business card from Senator Kent Conrad of North Dakota. This is one of those chamber passes uh, for the gallery. It was signed by... Um, I think it was a congressman by the name of Sidney Yates. This is um, July 3rd, 1951, it was dated. I've, I've had a few of these. I thought about really getting heavily into collecting these, and I may one day. Now, these are technically supposed to be authentically signed 
by a member of Congress or a United States Senator. That's what I've always been told. But that's not always true. While the majority of them I've seen signed, sometimes they are stamped or auto-penned. I wouldn't be surprised a lot of the new ones are now, but both while most of the old ones are authentically signed, some of them are not. Some of them I've seen stamped. This is one I bought that is actually stamped. You can tell. So, while a lot of times if you get these, they're real, it won't always be the case. So make sure you study it. I actually had one signed by Prescott Bush. He's a former United States Senator. He is the father of the former President George H.W. Bush and then grandfather to President George W. Bush. I was able to get one that I bought signed by him. I really wanted his autograph and it was the cheapest thing at the time to get signed by him. There wasn't a lot of his autographs out there. And the letters was a lot more. I actually have about five or six generations going back of the Bush family. I was able to go back all the way to the 1800s. The next one I need is problematic to get at best and expensive. One time I'll talk about that more. I think I did show some of that stuff before. Anyways, here's John Cornyn, United States Senator from Texas. Richard Luger, United States Senator from Indiana. And then he included a envelope, an older one, I believe, from the office of the governor of Pennsylvania, which is cool. That would be something I could get signed by a former governor, which I may do that one day. Oops, but you know who you are, and I, ah, uh, shoot. And I, thanks for sending that really cool stuff. You sent one of the autograph thing, but if I show it, you'll know who he is. Put that right there. Okay. Oh. This isn't signed, but still cool. Another business card. This is from Pat Mullen. He was a scout for the Montreal Expo. So every time I see these older cars, especially the Expos, I get them. I bought this card. It came from a seller in the UK. And this was actually cheaper than if I would have bought it from someone here in the United States. And I wanted this man's autograph for a while. I finally got it. This is George DeSundra. De Stargate signed card of the character Jim slash Anubis. Pretty awesome. I'm happy to get that. Been wanting it forever. Here it is from a singer by the name of Marin Morris. She sent a nice 8x10. Pretty cool. see. Shows how unorganized I have all this. She forgot. This stuff's been piling up for so long, I actually forgot I actually bought it or got it in the mail. This is from, um, I might as well show this because I collect these. Old business card from the Berkshire Black Bears. They're a defunct baseball team. I actually saw them play years and years ago. George Scott, the former major leaguer, was their manager at one time. This is Yannick Bison as Detective William Murdoch in Murdoch Mysteries. Pretty cool picture. This came from Canada. I did that. Oop, it's almost 20 minutes long. Yeah, I quicken the pace because this video will be forever if I don't. Now I sent this request. I swore I sent it to his uh, address as mayor, but this is supposedly signed by Pete Buttigieg, who's mayor of um, was it Indianapolis, Indiana, I think. He's running for president. That's why I wanted to get his autograph. I think it's auto pen because it has the squiggly line stuff. I'm pretty sure I wrote to his mayor's office. 
So it seems kind of interesting he came from his campaign. If I wrote to his mayor's office and it, then it came from his campaign office, I don't know if that's quite legal, but I probably am wrong. I probably wrote to his um, campaign, but I don't think I did. I'll have to look. I can probably find out. But I said that a while ago, and I just got it um, earlier in the month, earlier in the month of August. Oh, um, back in June, it was my birthday. I really wanted to eat at a restaurant called Bongo's Cuban Cafe. I've been wanting to eat there forever. And they actually closed down um, a couple weeks ago. It was owned by Gloria Stefan. They're actually moving it to Margaritaville, the resort, and they're just going to change the name. I want to go there forever. It's like one of the oldest restaurants there. Well, I had a gift shop. I had some cool stuff. They had some CDs signed by her, and they're pretty cheap, so I bought one. This is Christmas Through Your Eyes by Gloria Stefan, and it's signed. thought that was cool. So the head coach, Georgia, her name is Courtney, Courtney Cuppets. Carter. Fortunately, no business card, which is what I really want, but still, cool photo. Here's another head coach. Who, whose name I'm forgetting. It's an only one I wrote here. Muffet. McGraw, which is an awesome sign of name. She sent a sign, 8x10. Really cool. Just get a lot more head coaches and I haven't been writing to them. I don't know, forever. Almost done. I got this from Harvey McKay, you know, from the envelope company. First, he sent. A sign 8x10, or not 8x10, but a sign book. Awesome. Fortunately, he did not send a business card, which is what I was kind of hoping, but it's very, very nice, though. Awesome. First time I wrote to him, I actually got a, um, uh, just, just a note from his assistant. He asked me, why would I want his autograph? Why are you asking? It was all really suspicious. You know, I know tons of people got his autograph before that, so she must have been new or something. I don't know what was up with her. But 8x10, signed by him. Double check. That is, that is it. That's it for him. So let me put this away. I need to try to make these videos a little bit more speedier because it's gonna it's a long one. And I got some little things. A few business cards and um Okay. This is Eric Mado. He was a artist doing um he's a Disney artist. He wasn't particularly that friendly, so I didn't even bother um getting my picture with him like I normally would. Excuse me, he got allergies. I am signed. It's a business card from the shop he was working at. Well, there's that, that singing duo I told you about who's also a YouTuber, Nick and Rima. There's their card. Is that, is that blurry still? Nope. And they do have a YouTube channel. Pretty awesome. Oh, here's that card signed by is it Stephen Michael. Signed right there. 
see what the other side looks like. Pretty cool card. Then I have some trading cards I bought over a period of time. This one is signed by Daniel Benzali, who's autograph number one forever. It's pretty cheap. Another one I've been wanting, and I had my eye on for a while, Joe Piscopo. This man's autograph I've been wanting forever. Doesn't sign by TTM, really. And one time I looked years ago, there wasn't really much on there to buy. But I looked again a couple months ago, and I found one that was cheaper. And I could not believe it. It was cheap, so I bought it. Here is Yulin. That is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome sauce. I want his autograph forever. He was on a lot of good stuff. Another autograph I've been wanting forever that I finally got. I would rather have had him on a Star Trek card, but it was more expensive, so maybe in the future. But this is James Cromwell. This is an American Horror Story Asylum signed training card. These are all guaranteed to be authentic. I didn't show you guys the back of the others, I don't think. See here, here's Ewan. Joe Piscopo. Danny Benzali. Hopefully that is everything. I just stuff's all over the place. I'm so disorganized. But that is most of the good stuff. Hopefully my next video won't be too long. And hopefully I'm not too long before I actually get this video up. Who knows? You might not see this video until like two months from now. We'll see. Hope not. Let's hope not. But um, if you have any um, comments or questions or anything, please put them below. Uh, thanks for sticking with me because I haven't been doing as many videos in recent years. I appreciate all my subscribers who have been staying with me. And um, the first video you might have ever seen, please check out my channel. I have a lot of autograph related stuff. Actually, wait, one more thing I want to show you guys. I picked these up at a thrift store and I'm, they're really cheap, like 25 cents uh, tape. And I did it because I may send the tape out to get signed by people in the movie. I w wasn't able to look very long, so I just grabbed some that I know look good, but here's Deep Impact. I thought, uh, you know, it's kind of beat up, but I thought about sending it to Robert Duvall. Last I knew he signed, I don't know if he still does, but um, I got his autograph through the mail. He wrote me a um, nice letter, handwritten letter, so I may send this to him. He was in that movie. It was okay. This I'm not going to get signed. I'll probably keep this, but I thought this was cool. It's not even open. The lighter side of baseball. Cool. This movie I haven't seen since probably the middle 90s or so. This movie is so old. Actually, probably even sooner, probably early 90s. This is the seventh sign. Ooh. I remember it being a good movie. I thought about getting it signed by... Um, Jurgen Prock now has been in a lot of good stuff, and he always responded every time I ever wrote to him. That's him, if you don't remember. He's been in a ton of good stuff. So I may send this. I'm not going to send the whole tape. Just the cover. And then I'm not sure if I get him back, if I'm actually going to put the cover back on the tape. I may not. I may keep the tape separate or donate the tapes to the library and just keep the box. I don't know. If I keep them with the, with the tape, it can take a lot of room. Now, I'm not one to send the tape back out again or send the box back out again. Not sure why I'm going to get signed by this. I'm sure I'll find someone, but it's a great movie, and this would sign well. This is Forrest Gump. And there's a lot of actors in here. I have one that was a very, very, very minor part. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll find someone. Another one, another Tom Hanks movie that I'm sure I'll find someone in here to get signed. The League of Their Own. This one looks pretty good signed too. Very much doubt I'll get anyone here on the cover, but I'm sure I'll find someone. And 
I thought this was just like an animal documentary, but it's actually a movie from the 60s. Disney one, an older one. Never heard of it, but I actually looked up the plot and luckily ended up being a happy story. But this is Charlie and the Lonesome Cougar. Don't know if I'll get anyone to sign this, but either way, I'm happy to have it. Definitely an older movie. I'm surprised the proof of purchase thing's still on here, but I'm happy to have that. I may have been watching it too. I still have a VCR. VCRs are now ancient stuff. I remember when they were new. But that's finally it. That is it this time. I promise. All right. Again, as I said earlier, have any comments, questions, put them below. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Sorry for this video being so long because I just had so much stuff. I probably should do less talking between things to just rapidly show you, but I like to explain here and there with things. But if you have any questions, comments, put them below, and hopefully i get this video up soon, and hopefully I'll be able to film another one soon afterwards. Thank you for everyone watching. I hope everyone has a nice day. Bye, everybody.